What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Pod Ghost with me, Yaz. And myself, Seth. And today we have got a very, very, very oh, I'm interesting gassed. geezer. Yeah. <laughs> he's used to be an ex criminal and now he's turned his life around. Unbelievable. And he's become a very, very well known actor who's you've definitely probably seen him all over Instagram. So bring like on to the show, we'd like to bring on to the show Mr. Ian Griggs, aka Mr. Mr. Ink. Ink London. Thank you. How are we doing? Guys? How's it going, mate? You good? Very well, very well. Thank Ian. you for coming down, man. Thank you. Ian, you know what? Obviously, I spoke to you a little while ago. And honestly, I was telling Seth, it's been so hard to get hold of you. It's, yeah. so, you know, it's always like you're always busy. I know recently <laughs> you're on holiday. Yeah. So, Ian, we always I like. I don't start... mind a holiday. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can imagine. I've had three in the last month. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, I wish I could do that as well. <laughs> honestly, I mean, we should go after this. Yeah, exactly. Ian, the first question has to be the first question. Yeah. You know, normally we ask the tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when I first saw you, I was like, it's the first thing that stands out in yeah. it straight away. And you know what? I always said to my mum, yeah. I always said to my mum, I'd yeah. never, ever, ever get one on the boat. Serious? And I've got one. And now look at me. Wow. <laughs> I actually hates them. <laughs> what is it? Is it just like become an addiction or something? She, well, I had one, and yeah. then another one, then another one, then yeah. another one. But she absolutely hates them. No way. She's like, everyone's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> so what, yeah. what was the first tattoo? I had a lightning bolt. Little lightning bolt there. I yeah, yeah I see that. You yeah. see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First, one. First, first one on the face, yeah. And, when, and how long ago was that? It's only a couple of years ago, three years ago maybe. Oh wow! Yeah, I only done the face and the head yeah. literally three or four, years, maybe two, or three years ago. Yeah. Bloody hell! Yeah. And you must have spent a fair bit. Thirty thousand. <laughs> Thirty oh, grand. Thirty thousand pound I've done. Yeah. No way. And every tattoo means something. No, it means fuck all. It means I liked it, so I got it. <laughs> no, I like that one. Put that on my face. <laughs> So what's the you know what? If someone said to me, yeah. we'll give you the £30,000 back yeah. and we'll take them all away, I'd be like, give me the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. We'll don't take them away. Yeah. So is that, is that a form of regret? No, don't regret it. I love them. Yeah. Right? I love them. But £30,000 is £30,000. Of course, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Uh, but I mean, when you're spending it in bits and bobs, it's not like it went straight in one hit. For four years, yeah. I got an hour or two every single week. Wow. So it was £100 or £200 every week and I didn't miss it. But now £30,000 is a lot of money, you know? And I'm sure all the attention you must get from it. I do yeah. get a lot, but I don't even notice it anymore, right? Every time I go out with like people, they're like, everyone's looking at you, but yeah. I don't notice it anymore. The only time I ever notice it is when I'm going up an escalator on a tube. <laughs> okay, I see yeah, everyone yeah. looking Just down at me. <laughs> Does it piss you off? No, I, like, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, why well, not in it? They're appreciating I'll tell you what, it. Though, one, like, no one will sit next to me right. on a tube. I Don't think, blame I them, think that's a bit they, of a stereotype, isn't it? Yeah, They're probably cool. thinking, yeah, this No, but if, if you, look, let's be real. If Ian was sitting next to you on the train, you'll yeah. be a little bit intimidated, wouldn't you? Because you're quite, you're massive as well. Like, if right? I accidentally yeah, barge yeah. him, yeah, I'm going to think I'm yeah, dead. Yeah, screwed. Don't yeah, call yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, I'll see people. There'd be, there'd be a seat next to me. Yeah. If it was anyone else, yeah. they'd sit down. Yeah. But because it's me, they'll sort of look at me and think, well, I'm not sitting next to him. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll blame him. So, Ian, you know what? Obviously, growing up in East London. Yeah. How did it even get to the point of you, you know, we all obviously know about your whole criminal background mm. and you're not shy enough to talk about it. Yeah. A lot of people actually don't like speaking about their past, but with you, you actually inspire a lot of people. Um, yeah. I want to ask, obviously, how you first got involved with criminal activity. Because mm. a lot of people like us, we'd think it's friends or something that you... Well, obviously it's friends. I mean, you yeah. know, starting off with the drug dealing, you start off at weed. Yeah. And then from there I went to pills. And right. then from pills I went to cocaine. Oof. You know, so it's one up, one up, one up, you know, yeah. and that's where the money is. So I started doing little bits of weed, little bags of weed, then big bits of weed, then pills. Yeah. Then I was selling tickets of cocaine. And then after that, I was selling bricks of cocaine, you know. Wow. Moved up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah moved of course. Up. Wow. You know, obviously the whole drug side is up there. We've never, I've never actually been involved in that sort of stuff. So when you first got involved in that, I know it sounds really cliche to say, but was it easy to get hold of? Like, is it, you know, it's easy to get a hold of, and you never, ever, ever think you're going to get caught. Yeah, of course. You know, you, you, know, you think, oh, I'll keep doing this, I'll keep doing this, I'll keep doing this. And you always get caught for it in the end, you know? And you do, you know? So the, the, the first time you obviously knew you'd been caught, or maybe, you know, was it, was it a raid, or was it something that was plotted? I've never, ever, ever yeah. been caught selling cocaine. I've only ever been to jail for weed. Okay. Yeah. yeah for yeah, grows. Yeah. For grows. Right. Right. I've yeah, never yeah. been to jail for selling cocaine. Wow. Yeah. So oh. you were doing it at the same time, but that one that never come out. Yeah, never come out. Never come out. That's mad, isn't it? Fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. 
clearly a good shot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know, obviously when you're selling the stuff, obviously you must have had a lot of people that are regularly buying off you. Yeah, of course. Um, was it just word of mouth? Was it... Well, no, you get, you know, you start selling to your mates and then to someone else and then they get mates from mates and then you sell to loads of other people. But the funny thing about it, like most people you sell to, yeah. nine out of ten people, yeah. city workers. Wow, yeah, they're of course. Workers. They're, yeah, they're, they're, really? They're, yeah, of course. And they're, they're doing a bag a night, they're doing a couple of bags a night, you know, and they're going to work, five o'clock, boom, they're in the fucking pubs and then they're sniffing every night and then they wake up in the morning and go to work and then go again the next day. But I mean, they do say that Coke is obviously a rich man's drug. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. wow. It's one of them, yeah. So you're telling me most of your, most of your clients were, you know, mostly predominantly office workers yeah, and yeah, yeah. bankers yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably people that you would least expect to take it. See, with me, I don't yeah. know about this stuff, so for me, it's very interesting. I'm, while, while I'm talking to you, I'm getting a bit blacky well, old. When, wow. when, did, when did you get into it? Like, what age was you, did you start dealing? 18. 18? 18, yeah. And East London's always been a bit yeah, rough, hasn't it? Yeah. I so reckon it's, it's with, with drug dealers, what I've, like, it's an assumption, it's because it's the money's so easy to come in as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course It's like, it you is. can't really stop it. You ain't going to yeah, get yeah, that yeah. When you get that money coming in, yeah. coming in, coming in, coming in, you don't want to stop. And the more money you get in, the yeah. more money you spend. That's it. So from, from your days of doing all that stuff, how much would you say, what was your biggest, like, you know, how much money did you actually make from? I was making 10 grand a week at one point. Wow. Ten thousand pounds a week at one point, yeah. For how long? A couple of years. A couple of years I was making ten grand a week. But I was spending eleven grand a week. <laughs> oh yeah. As you know what, Mark, I was just gonna ask you, when does it come to a point where you feel like, you know what, I've made a lot, let me bounce out of this. And yeah, get out you of never it. do, you, don't, you never it? do, you know. You, you just get addicted yeah, to it, innit? Yeah, of course. You know, you got that money coming in, you spend it. Yeah, exactly. You know, but you spend it silly. Yeah. You're going out on nights out, you're spending you know, five grand a night on champagne. You know, you're buying for everyone yeah. that would never buy for you. Yeah, yeah of course, know? of course. Yeah, but that's because oh. you know that income's just... I'm just going to exactly. get back next week. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like 10 grand a week. So for a couple of years, you were making that sort of money. Yeah, big money. Did you invest it or did you just literally just yeah, lose it all? I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally just spent every penny of it? Literally, literally. Uh, was it something you were doing solo or was you doing it... No, with I was like doing it a, solo. Yeah, you were doing you it know? solo, yeah. yeah. No, because I was saying, because obviously when you end up going inside... Yeah. Is it something that just like it just disappeared? Did the money have to be given away? Every time I went in, I yeah. came out. Yeah. And a couple of times I got back straight back into it. Yeah. Um, but I've been in five times. I've been yeah, in jail yeah. five times. I've done 12 years. Wow, okay, yeah. Um, and the last time I come out in 2015, that's it. I ain't going back. I've you had thought, enough yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. But, but looking at them five times, you know when you went in the first time? And you come out and you said you might have got back into it straight away. You know what it? I always yeah. said, right? So my first sentence was three years. Right. And I fucking hated it. Yeah. I'm not like one of these little divs that love jail. Yeah, There's yeah, a lot yeah. of people that love it. They've got no family. They've got no friends. They've got no life. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, that I, I absolutely hated every minute of it. I like being out and about. Yeah, I like going for some beds. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I like going to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do any of that in jail. Of course. They tell you when to fucking shave, shit, <laughs> and eat. Yeah, it's you true. Know, literally, they tell you what to do and when to do it, you know? But based on that answer, then, so what made you go back into it if you know there's a risk of you getting caught again? <sighs> it is what it is. It's it? money. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you, know, you know, when you come out of jail, what you going to yeah. do, you know? Was there a time where you're thinking, right, one time, two times, three times? Like you said, five times, is it one of the ones where... <laughs> I always did think, yeah, one time was enough, then two times, then three times, then four times, then five times. Do you ever think that? But I think at them times, you're but probably thinking, time, you get smarter, innit? Yeah, of course yeah. you do. The fifth time, I was like, look, I've had enough of yeah. this, you know, I've done my thing, I've made my money, I'm chilling out now. You yeah. know? <laughs> so the question obviously comes to, you know, comes to my mind straight away is, how did you first get caught? Because you say you were really good at doing it, but yeah. then obviously they always get, there's no one's bigger than the actual police and the authorities. I got caught on a, I got caught on a fuck, well, the, 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 we're talking about the weed one. Yeah. I yeah. got caught on a grow. Helicopter okay. came over. Thermal. Yeah, thermal, yeah, yeah, see yeah, yeah. it, you know. Yeah. And I got caught with 50 plants. I swear the coppers must have nicked it because they undervalued it big time. But they sell it back to the streets. You know, they <laughs> must have took half of that at yeah. least, or two thirds of it. Yeah. Because they undervalued that. Wow. You oh, know? Really? Yeah. 50, so it was 50, sorry, 50 my plants. knowledge is you, yeah, yeah. you seem like you know what you're doing in this. No, <laughs> so, no, no. <laughs> so when it's like, you say 50 bags, was it like, 
black pin bags. No, no, 50 Sorry. plants. 50 plants. Oh, 50 plants. plants. Yeah, plants I had in there. That's what they so call So one they plant, grow. how big is it and what's, how, what's the street value of one plant? Well, you get a few grand off yeah. it, do you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, you get a few grand off it. So I had 50, but they undervalued it. They valued it at like fucking 30,000 when it should have been over 100,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I'm thinking, what, what, you know, what, about, what are they up to here? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they saw, obviously, the helicopters. I remember when they, well, so when they came, so, yeah. I, so I, I wasn't there when they fucking raided me. Yeah. So I've come back, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a cab back, I, I don't know, I've been shopping or somewhere, so I've come back. You're spending your money in Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> <Sausages. Yeah. laughs> Sausages. So I've come back, I've got a cab back. Yeah. As I've come back, I've got out and I've looked at the door and the door looked open. I thought, what the fuck? I thought someone had fucking robbed me, right? Yeah. I thought someone had robbed me. Anyway, the next minute I see a couple of people, just before I went in the door, I see a couple of people standing outside sort of looking. I'm thinking, what's going on here? I've gone in. Yeah. It was on the ground floor where my grow was in yeah, the yeah. fucking, in the garage. Yeah. Right. It was a three-story townhouse. Right. Garage at the bottom. The minute I've walked in the door, I've seen the door's been kicked in. Yeah. And it's fucking, so I, I immediately thought someone's robbed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I quickly go upstairs and then I see the little the little slip from the police. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. Little yellow slip from the police. And I think, fuck. So I quickly grab my charger, grabbed a couple of bits, ran down the stairs. Yeah. As soon as I got down the stairs, it's like, hello, Ian Griggs. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no anchors. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Did you try running or was that it? No, I could, you know, it was at the no door. Point, yeah. It was at the door, you know. Wow. But so when, was it was yeah. it a snip job or was it something that they, or was it the helicopter? It was a helicopter. It was a helicopter. And when when you say that your, obviously, your girl got taken off of you, I, I know you were doing it solo, but when you're sometimes in the drug game, obviously yep. you've got a lot of connections, a lot of people mm. you might be working for and shit like that. Was it like any situations where like people are after you, you got old money? No, 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 no. no. Um, you were the kingpin. No, I wasn't. I <laughs> no, I wasn't the kingpin. Yeah, I was working for someone else. Right. Um, you know, but what what's he gonna do? Ask me for fucking hundred and fifty grand back? Yeah, yeah. You owe me hundred and fifty yeah. grand? Yeah. I don't think so, mate. Where so am I gonna mate? get that from? Yeah, you exactly. Know? So then you obviously went in. But he just like the, the the main guy was like, oh, so this has happened. This he thought I was lying. Okay. He's like, show me your fucking paperwork that you got nicked. Show me this, yeah, show yeah, me yeah. that. Because he thought, you know, anyone could do it, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? It's a of lot course. of money. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly, yeah. So, yeah, he was like, show me this, show me that. And he was like, all right, you know. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people do inside jobs, innit? Yeah, of course. Take yeah. it and then they yeah. make their own Take money. it and then be like, well, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. Please fucking took it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah, so he was like, he come and picked me up. Like, he actually picked me up from fucking uh, the police station. Oh, yeah, okay. And, uh, He's like, oh, I don't understand it, blah, 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 you know? So that was the first time um, you got nicked. What was the second time? For violence. Violence? For violence, yeah. I've okay. been in a few times for violence. So violence was, your longer stretch was the violent side, yeah? Yeah. Mind telling us what happened there? Uh, I've been in a couple of times. I've had a couple <clears throat> of Section 18s. Right. Uh, Section 18, wounded yep. with intent. Uh, it's quite a serious, serious yeah. job. Of course it is, yeah. You know, it's stabbing or shooting someone in the kneecaps. That's a section 18. You know, it's one under attempted murder. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, and if you get two of them within 10 years, you get a life sentence. Wow. Now, I had two of them within about 10 years and two months. So my last, on my last sentence when I got seven years for slashing some guy's face. Yeah. Pre-sentence reports, they wanted, to set, they wanted to send me down for life. They oh, actually shit. put, they wanted to send me down for life. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I went before the judge and he said, look, I'm not, I'm not giving him life. He said, because it's just over 10 years. It's like 10 years, two months, or 10 years, four months, or whatever. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to give you seven years. You know, so he gave me seven. But yeah, it's lucky. I, you know, yeah, it was course. three months before, yeah. I'd have got a life sentence. Because life in this country is 25 years, isn't it? Well, you it, do it, half, it, it would have been yeah. an IPP, but they abolished yeah. that, haven't they? Okay. Um, indefinite public yeah, yeah. protection. They abolished that because yeah. it wasn't humane. They was giving people four years and they was doing 12 years. Of course, yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So I got an EPP, extended wow. for public protection, which is an extended license when you get out. Yeah. You have an extended license, you know? So instead of being on license for three and a half years, I was on license for five years. Okay, you know, all your license. And that kind of yeah. that kind of chilled me out, you know. I knew, of course, that was my last sentence. You know, I was on license that long. Yeah, 
if I'd have done anything, yeah, exactly. I'd have been straight back in for the remainder of the five years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that chilled me out and, you know. So that was the final straw for you? That was the final straw. That was a final. If I'd have done anything, I'd have been back for five years. So that was a final straw, you know? What was your experience in like, prison? Cause, like, was it just one of them ones where you just go do your time? You know what? Well, I'm one of the boys in jail. I know everyone in there. Everyone knows me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of them, you know? Yeah. No, I'm not saying obviously it's pleasant, but obviously it just makes it easier. Yeah, you know, well, you know, I'm, you know there's yeah. a lot of fucking twats in jail. There's a lot of fucking in jail. There's yeah. a lot of idiots in jail. Yeah. But I'm one of the, you know, if I'm in there, I'm one of the boys. You yeah, know, yeah, everyone yeah, knows it. me and I know them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, the, the thing is, was obviously, when, you, when you've you never been in prison yourself, you hear the stories. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Watch it in the films. Yeah, or you've yeah. seen it in the films. And I think it's, it's more probably, because a lot of people that actually go to prison actually say to me, bro, it's not as bad as you think. Yeah. A lot of people actually have said that to me. I will tell you what. I remember the last time. Last time I went in. No, it wasn't last time. It's two. I don't know. It was a second from last time. Yeah. I went down. I got sent down from Uxbridge to one with Scrubs. Yeah. And I always get single cell. So right. I always get single cell. Yeah. You know, for because I'm high risk. Right. So they won't put me in a double cell with anyone because yep. I'm high risk oh, wow. of serious harm to others. Yep. So I always get single cell, and that's the way I like it. Yeah. yeah I privacy. Don't be, I don't want to be on a fucking bunk bed with some fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. want to watch what I want to watch on yeah, telly. Yeah, exactly. And I'd be on my own. You know. I'm sure if you did have someone in there, they'd still let you watch. <laughs> you know. And um, no, you never know. So yeah. So I remember when I went, the first time I went into one with Scrubs, I, I was like, right, so you, we're, we're going to have to put you in a uh, the first night. The first night in the Wormwood Scrubs, you're in a five man fucking bed, but like a big a big thing with five of you in. Yeah. I said, I ain't going fucking in that. I said, I'm, you know, I'm high risk, I'm going to single cell. He went, he went, look, just, he said, do me a favor. He went, look, he said, just look after these boys tonight. Go in there for one night. He yeah. said, just look after everyone in there. You've been in a lot of times, you know what's what. He said, just look after all these boys. Yeah. He said, tomorrow, I'll get you in a single cell, right? Well, fucking, I'll tell you what. So I went in there. Yeah. Oh, mate. So there was one geezer. He was on the bed next to me. He was like, ooh. Oh, I was shit. like, you all right? He went, yeah, I killed my wife. Oh, shit. I was what? like, what? He went, yeah, I don't remember. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Get me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, didn't you get some fucking up Scooby. Yeah, yeah. He literally didn't have a Scooby what he'd done. <laughs> wow, so, so them sort of people surely should have been in a mental home, no? Instead of a prison. So. Yeah, you exactly. would think so. Yeah, you because know? You, know, you could do that to anyone in prison. Yeah, yeah, literally, you know. So there was. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, but yeah, that, 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 it's called a first night, first night unit. Yeah. And yeah, there was five or six people in there. Everyone else was pretty quiet, but yeah, all night he kept talking. So you probably made sure you didn't sleep around him, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck that. The minute seven o'clock in the morning come, yeah. I was like pressing that buzzer. I was like, get me fucking out of here. Get me in my single room. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. So when you obviously got into prison, obviously I'm intrigued to know, there must be one story that probably sticks with you um, in prison. Is there anything that you probably saw that you thought was like an eye opener or? No, you know what, right. So obviously in jail, you know, if, if a, Ever comes on the wing, yeah. And yeah. Anyone finds out they get fucking hurt. Yeah. You know, someone finds out they get hurt. Simple. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They will get hurt. You know, sugar in the fucking boiling fucking kettle yeah. over your face, and they put the sugar in it so it sticks, sticks and so melts, it sticks to your face and it melts it. That's why they put sugar in the fucking kettle. Yeah. So it melts your face and then you can't get Take it, off. it off. Yeah. And you saw that happen. I've seen that happen a few times. Yeah. To okay. You know. Yeah, 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 bloody hell. So that's, that stuff actually, but you know what? I've always seen it. I've always heard about it, that they do it a lot to people that deserve it. Obviously, we're not ones to say whether someone yeah, deserves yeah. it or not, but you know, your opinion's your opinion. Well, I'll tell you what though, a few times I've, I've seen boys that are, you know, that, that are supposedly yeah. have been kicked the shit out of. Yeah. And it turns out- They're not. They wasn't, Yeah, yeah you know? Because yeah. they will say, show us your debts, show us your paperwork, let's have a look. Well, some people don't fucking have it. Yeah, of course. You know, some people don't have the paperwork. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then other people think, well, he's got no fucking paperwork. He must be a just fucking do him in. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I've, you know, I've, I've never got my fucking paperwork when I get in jail. I've never got my fucking paperwork. There. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But no one ever says to me, show me your fucking paperwork. Yeah, yeah, if exactly. they did, I say, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but right, now talking about your body, did that come from jail or have you always been a guy that's been into gym? I've always been into the gym. Uh, people think... Yeah. in jail 
You yeah. can go to the gym every day. That's what I was asking, you yeah. You can't, you can't. Yeah. Bear in mind in the jail, you've got 1,000 people or 1,500 people, yeah? Right. You can get 30 people in the gym at a one hour session at a time. In jail, you get gym about twice a week. Oh, is that it? Once or, tw- once or twice a week. People think you get it all the time, but you don't. You don't, yeah. You Most don't, of it is can't. just banging press ups and stuff. You sit-ups. can't because you, you've, they, they literally can't get everyone in. So every time I'm in jail, I'm a wing cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as you finish cleaning, you get about, paid about eight pound a week. Yeah. Eight pound a week yeah. for cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Eight pound a week. And how long are you cleaning for? This is, this is why I do it. You clean for half hour, then your cell's open all day. Yeah. So yeah. you do what the fuck you want. Every day you can go to the gym. When you're a wing cleaner, you can go to the gym every day. Yeah, a lot you of do, perks with it, innit? Yeah. yeah, do you clean this gym? You go there every day for an hour or so. Yeah. But like, so your door's open all day. But yeah, so you get paid eight pound a week. But like, a tin of fucking tuna in jail is about two pound fifty. Exactly. Yeah. A fucking Colgate toothpaste is about three pound. So it's more money than it is outside, yet you get paid eight pound a week. That's messed That's up. That's what man. they, yeah, you know. So then can you, you still? Then g- you can get sent money in. Yeah, yeah of course. But yes. you can only get twenty pounds sent in. That's all you can get sent in a week. Twenty oh, pounds. They cap it. They cap it. Obviously, That's, yeah, you yeah, know, of they course, cap yeah. it. Twenty pounds. So basically, you've got twenty-eight pound to live off. Yeah. Bear in mind, your phone. You probably put twenty pound of that on the phone. Exactly. You know. Bloody hell. So you know even the things of um, smuggling drugs into prison, is that something that's easy to do? Easy, not- easy. And I'll tell you who does it, it's the screws. The screws do it. Yeah. They bring it in. They yeah, bring yeah, 100%. It. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they do. Because I always hear these things from people. You know you get like yeah, of course, yeah, stories. Yeah. 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 They're like, shut up, how can they do that in prison? And some well, people yeah, say- people used to, used to, years ago, people used to, you know, ping things over with spoons or throw tennis balls over. But now... Now they're, they're doing drones. So they're, yeah, they're a little drone that. over. But yeah, screwed. Nine times out of ten, it's the screws which... And they'll bring in phones. Like a phone, yeah. a little fucking... A little phone, a little Nokia phone. Yeah. Will sell for £500 in jail. An iPhone will sell for £1,500. Yeah. And how did they get that money to do that? They pay it outside the... They pay it outside, yeah. Do you know what was funny talking they'll about iPhones? You know, someone. you know the other day when that um, alert went out to everyone? Oh, Yeah. So everyone was like, whoever's got iPhones in jail right now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as well. Yeah. But it's like in jails, things are so expensive. So yeah. weed, for example, what would you pay out now for 3.5 of weed? You pay, what, £20 out yeah. here, £25 now? Yeah. yeah. In jail, the last time I was in there, which is a long time ago, nearly 10 years ago, mm-hmm. a 0.8, a 0.8 of weed to get in yeah. was £50. £50 for a 0.8. So little Bloody divs, yeah, little, literally, little divs yeah, that's would it, come yeah. in for shoplifting. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And they'd plug a couple of fucking ounces up their ass, and, and they'd in. leave with four or five grand. Bloody hell. You know? Bloody hell. They man. was doing nice. <laughs> you know? I'm going to do that. Yeah, you know what? It just doesn't sound pleasant regardlessly. Not having your freedom, I just feel but like... This yeah, was of course. Violated. This was 10 years ago, so I dread to think what the price is now, you know? This was a long time yeah, ago, and that was 0.850 pound 10 years ago. Mm. So it's probably 0.550 pound now, you know? Blood. Something silly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's you know? absolutely insane, you know? It's just, it comes to show you there's business literally everywhere, isn't there? Of course, everywhere, yeah. Yeah. Every day, every, yeah. every walk of life, there's people that are just trying to make money. Whether they use the law as a cover-up, whether they don't. Yeah, exactly. It's just crazy the way they, the way you hear these stories, you're like, I thought it was just in the movies. Did you do any like courses in jail or anything like that? I've done loads of courses in jail. Yeah. So I got my fitness instructor, yep. level one fitness instructor, level yep. two personal trainer. Wicked. Um, I don't know, street works one, so I yep. can work on the roads. Right. Road man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah of course. Exactly. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, I like that one. And I've, I've done a bricklaying course, um, but didn't finish that one. Right. The fucking teacher was a wanker. <laughs> Ended up kicking my wall down. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck Ian, you know what? Got to get him a new cell now. You know, you know, <laughs> even when you first went into prison, right? I have to make you relive that time when you your first night that you were in 
like prison. On oh, my first night, I was. What was going through your head? Like, did you were yeah. you shocked? Like, did you think, what am I doing? Like, what the fuck? Well, I didn't. You know, my my first night in jail, I'd just been sentenced to three years. So that was your first, first stretch. Time, first yeah. stretch. Yeah. Three years. I was like nineteen. Um, I was in the young offenders jail, Glen Parva. Yeah. Which was the biggest young offenders in the country. It was in Leicester. Mm-hmm. I think it's shut down now. I'm sure it's shut down now. Right. So I done three. I got three year sentence. Um, but yeah, obviously the first night I was, you know, I was thinking, fucking, I was going on. I've got fucking eighteen months. Because yeah. people think you get three years, you get four years, you get out in half for good behaviour. Right. No, you don't. You get out of half, no matter what. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's half. Yeah. Hey, what, it? what it is? You get a three-year sentence. Yeah. You do half inside, half on license. Right. Makes you sense. You get two years. You do a year inside, a year on license. But people think. Yeah. You have to do good behaviour to yeah. get that to get that half. It's got nothing to do with your behaviour. No. Nothing to do with your behaviour. You get half right. straight. So if you get five-year sentence, yeah. you do two and a half inside. Two and a half on license. You I know? think I think that's where. What, you, what do you think of that? What's your personal view on that? Do you think if someone gets sentenced, they should actually cut the whole? Obviously, not for you in your yeah. position, because obviously you're, I'm sure you're glad to be out. <laughs> but do you reckon someone should actually spend? Like me personally, I think if, some, if someone's doing a crime yeah. and they get sentenced, I think they should get sentenced for the actual time. Yeah, I'm but, not saying. Yeah, 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 I, I'm just trying yeah. to say it's fair, isn't it? Yeah. If I'm not saying that, that's, that's, I think that's the way they do it in England. They do, you know, or the UK, you know, half inside, half on license. Yeah, which is good. You know, I, I, it's good for me anyway. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say, because imagine you've got that. Like, because <laughs> imagine you've got like ten years and yeah, you did sort ten years. Out, yeah. Ugh. For example, and you sort yourself out in like five years, for example, yeah. Yeah, true. But now you're staying in there for the other five years. I feel like sometimes you could go both ways then, because in jail it could take the worst out of you as well. Yeah, of course. You might think I've become a better person, but I can't become a better person after, at the moment. After, after a few hard. years in jail, you yeah. get institutionalised. You know, you, 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 you do. You yeah, know? yeah, You've been in there a long time. You do. You get institutionalised, you know? Mm. Bloody hell. You know, that's why I just thought, you know, cause a lot of people, when they go in, yeah. you know, when someone says to me, oh, bro, he's gone in for life. And then you think they're only going to do, what, 12 and a half years and come out? Yeah. But sometimes... No, no, on a life sentence, on you a do life the sentence, if you get 20, you do it all. So, oh, to, yeah, on a life, so if you okay. get 25 life, See, I didn't you, know that. Do, okay, yeah, you do 25. Right. It's only on a normal sentence. You do half. If you, if, you know, even if you get 15, you yeah. do seven and a half. So now on a life, life means life. So if you get life recommended 25, you do the 25, but then you don't get out of 25. You've got to sit aboard a parole hearing. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So you don't get out at that. You've got to sit, you know, life is naughty, you know. <laughs> Wow, so after 25 years, they still actually sit down yeah, you and consider could be, it. you could be in there 35. It's like, look at Ch- Charles Bronson who's trying to get out now. He's now yeah. been in there, oh, I don't know, years, years, now, yeah. 50 years or yeah. something, 50 years or 40 years or something. And he spent most of that in solitary confinement. Yeah. Um, and he's actually trying to get out now, you know? And I think they're going to let him out, you know? But they're going to let it, they'll, they'll give him a decal or something first. But he's, yeah. he's 75 years old now. Of course, yeah. You know, he's not really a risk to anyone. You know I was what just going to say that. Once you get to that and certain he's, age... Right, so he's been in, yeah. Charles Bronson has been yeah, in of course, like yeah. 50 years. He's never even killed anyone. All he's done is took, Pete, cut, took a couple of hostages mm. and had a couple of riots... And that's it. And he's been in there that long. So how come he didn't get no half or anything like that? Or come out early? Well, because he's... I don't know. Because don't, yeah, yeah. don't forget, they probably know things that we don't know. doing stuff and doing stuff yeah, and doing sense. stuff. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the things we they tell us, we don't know the actual story, do we? Yeah, yeah, of of what they've got on him or what he's done or what he's created mm. outside of prison. Yeah, yeah, of course. There must yeah. be something in there. We wouldn't know that, would we? No, of course not, yeah. So Ian, you know what? Sticking to the whole, you know, prison side of things. You said you had a 12-year stretch. Yeah. Now, that was... Was that... Like gang related or was it just a standard fight no, that you got no, into? No, not gang related. So not just like a related. fight you got involved with? Well, it wasn't a fight. So my last sentence, uh, obviously I used to sell cocaine. Someone owed me a couple of grand. Right. And he'd been hiding from me. He'd been hiding from me for a little while and I kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Yeah. The first couple of weeks, he's like, oh, I'll sort it out, I'll sort it out. Then he blocked me, blocked my number. I got a couple of people looking for him. Yeah. No one knew where he was. And then literally two months down the line, someone messaged me and said, oh, that geezer that owes you that money is at house party. I said, right, yeah. give me your address. Went round there, knocked on the door. Yeah. The minute I knocked on the door, someone answered, I fucking stormed in. I've walked, there must have been about 20 people in there. Yeah. 
I've walked by everyone, I've seen him in the kitchen. They're all in the kitchen sniffing cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Seen him in the kitchen, seeing him. He's like, no, no, no. I've literally grabbed him, I've banged him yeah. about three times, put him on the floor, got a standing knife out and swiped Spice him straight down his oh, face. Yeah. What's it called again? Is that called a... Stripe. Stripe. There was another one as well, wasn't it? Charlie <clears throat> Smile or something like that. Chelsea Smile. Chelsea Smile. Chelsea Smile Chelsea is that smile. way. That one. Oh, that's the, sword. The, that's the <laughs> Joker's one. The yeah, craze yeah, one. That's <laughs> it, the craze one. <laughs> Bloody hell. Mental. And you know when you did that? Sorry, I, I just want to know your I mindset did it. I did it. I ducked out. I ducked out. And I said to, every, I said to everyone in there, I said, did none of you fucking say anything. Same I said, yeah. you'll be next. So no one did. No one said anything. His girlfriend fucking grasped me. He didn't. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He he knew not to say anything. Yeah, but his girlfriend fucking said, "Yeah, well, I see it. He done this and he done that." Nice, oh, yeah, okay, you yeah. know. And do you but ever I run into anyone it, like from your past life? Anything like that? I don't. No? I don't. Luckily, I think so it's I the mean. best way to stay in it. Really. <laughs> yeah, best way. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, sticking to that at the time in your, you know, what was going through your mind? Like, was it, was it your ego? Or yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, really, I'm not letting someone mug me off because that looks bad on me. You know, mm. I made a statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one fucks with me. Yeah, yeah, of course. That was a statement. But when you're in that lifestyle, that's what you've got to do. Yeah, of course, of course. Otherwise, Otherwise you'd people just be a pushover, innit? Yeah, yeah. Mug yeah. you off and mug you off. Did you, you get know? your money back in the end? No, did I fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I spent seven years in jail. Yeah. For two thousand pounds, and I didn't even get the money back. <laughs> Mental, innit? it? <laughs> what's that? What's that? Was fucking three hundred pounds a year. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it sounds really when stupid. When you look at it like that, you yeah. think, what a twat, you know? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So you do regret it? Of course, of today. course, I regret it. Of course, yeah. I regret stuff like that, you know? Because even if you but just, is if you just is. punched course, him up yeah. and just left him... I should have punched yeah. him up left So him. what made you, honest, I, I got it's the ego, but did you want to just leave your mark on him so every time yeah. he, he yeah, sees yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you never forget you know. People knew that he'd been fucking swerving me. He'd swerved me for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And people were thinking, well... If he can swerve him, I can swerve him. So I thought, I've got to fucking do something to this fella. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and exactly. I did. No, because it becomes like a domino <laughs> effect, innit? <laughs> Ever seen him again? Never seen him again. Apparently, he don't go out anymore. Apparently, he's a bit of a uh, recluse. Don't do anything, don't oh, go right. out, you know? Good. Yeah, yeah good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, all this stuff, obviously, I want to know more about now. Look, we talk about your whole criminal side and... But you now are changing your ways. Now you're a very well-known actor. Mm -hmm. And congratulations on... Thank you. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Turned, well, you've just turned your life around. It's absolutely amazing. And that side of things now, you moving into acting and using this whole criminality as a positive now. Yeah. Because you can help a lot of people. Like even like, us listening to it now, we're like, bloody art. To yeah, sit yeah, with someone that's been yeah. through all of this, mm -hmm. but then found your way. What was the reason for your change? And obviously you said you didn't want to go back into prison. But was it probably your partner having children? No, you know what it was? It was my daughter. Um, I've got a daughter, I was just time four. Wow, yeah. You know, and I, you know, she's my little girl, do you know what I mean? So that, that was the, and I have a 50-50, so I have a half the week. I yeah. remember half the week I do. Yeah. But that was the, you know, the, the turning point for me. Yeah. You know, I've got her and I'm not going back. There's no way I'm going back. Of course, yeah, for I've her sake. I've got a son as well, I've got a son as well, he's 17. Yep. He was actually born while I was in jail. Right. He was actually born while I was in jail, which okay, was yeah. shit. Yeah, of course. Um, but when I was that age, you know, uh, I, I loved my son to bits, you know? Yeah. Uh, but when I was sort of a teenager, 20s, I didn't really think, you know, like I do now. Of course, of course yeah, you yeah. You know, but now I'm older, I'm wiser. Yeah. You know, I'm not going back. I've got my little girl and I need to look after her, you know? I have a 50-50, so I need to look after her. So that was the main reason for you changing and completely cleaning up your whole... Yeah. That's amazing. I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but um, when I saw online, um, yeah. is it one of your ex-partners that passed away? Oh, she did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was while you was in jail as well, wasn't it? When I was in jail. Yeah. Um, had a car crash. Uh, yeah. My first love. Oh, I was with her for damn. four years. You know, it was very, very hard. Um, so when, when was this? Was it early... How 2008, you? 2008, I was in Wilmer Scrubs. Right. Um, and I rang my mum up yeah. and she said, no, it's a little bit hard for me. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry to mention it. And uh, I rang my mum up yeah. and she was like, I've got some bad news. Mm. And she went, I don't know what to tell you. 
he had started, you know, and that broke my heart. Of course. It broke my heart, that did. Um, and I wasn't allowed to go to the funeral because I was high God. risk. Yeah. I wasn't even allowed to go to the funeral. They goodbye. still didn't let you go no, to. So I had to go to chapel and light a candle, you know. Yeah. On your own? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Sorry no, we just, that, yeah, I know you asked the question because it was something. Yeah. It's all right, it's yeah. all right. But then, is, is, is that the one you had your um, son with? Or? No, 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 no. no. Was she, okay, she was yeah. my first love. She was, first so this yeah. was like when I was young. Of uh, course, yeah. I was with her for four years. Yeah. It's the longest relationship I've ever had, to be fair. Mm. Um, yeah, you know. Damn. Yeah, no, that would give you yeah. a minute, Ian. It's just, yeah, right, it's, right. Right. it's just nice to know, obviously, things happen. You know, loss is a part of life, I guess. And, you know, it changes you for the best. You know, it makes you, like, even look, after all these years, you still have that connection with someone yeah, you know what I mean it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean we're all going to go one day ain't we yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, but yeah, to yeah, think of course. that she left such a mark on your life yeah. that's my first yeah, love of course I mean? yeah exactly you know? that's mad I don't even you know you never forget your first love yeah, 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 you know what I mean it's been yeah. a long time 100% you know? wow yeah. and you, know, you always think I always think like you know your first love will, will always be someone that knew you growing up like, they grew up with you innit? in yeah. in the extent where mm. you know you can never replace that again but that's I don't even know where you, I don't even, know, I don't even see that online. Or yeah, I, I, so I read it on one of the news articles. That's on the like, news article. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because there's a lot of news articles on you, but, yeah, but mostly it's all about your tattoos and your so, criminal life. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I saw was the man spent £30,000. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, that's the first time, because obviously I've met, I've been speaking to Ian quite a bit on Instagram, yeah. messaging each other back and forth. And that was actually the first thing I saw. And yeah. I actually read the whole article. Yeah, same. I was like, which I, nutter? I love, I I love the one on the head. Oh, the tiger. That is, yeah, that is sick. Look how oh, raw that, that tiger? looks. Yeah, yeah. Tiger. Look how raw wow. that looks. So what was your most expensive tattoo? So I just want to know. Yeah. Yeah. It means nothing, but I don't know. Probably my back piece. I've got a big Buddha on the back. Yeah, I see uh, that. And that took 60 hours. Wow. So that must be six grand. You know? Six grand. Six grand. Yeah, here's yeah. another one. What's the most painful one? Oh. Everyone asked me that. Yeah. Everyone asked yeah. me that. They're all fucking out. Because <laughs> <laughs> they say if you do it on dead skin, it hurts more. Oh, is it? I don't know. On what? Like dead skin? skin that hasn't got much muscle around it. No. Is that BS? Yeah, yeah literally. Oh, really? <laughs> I heard like a lot of people say like the ankles and like them bits hurt. Every, you know what? Everyone, everyone is different. So what might hurt you might not hurt me. Pain what pressure. will hurt me won't hurt you everyone's yeah. fucking different one of my most painful places people think the front of the knee hurt the knee hurts yeah the fucking back of the knee is naughty yeah that's oh. where the sensitive skin is isn't it the yeah, back of the knee I wasn't yeah, expecting yeah. it if you look on a pain chart tattoo pain chart it will be red the back of the knee is red it's one of the most painful places I didn't realise so yeah. when I was getting mine done I was like ooh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had one the other day I had, I had a tattoo literally a couple of weeks ago in Chingford old time tattoo yeah. and uh, I had right near my fucking ass cheek Ooh. oh damn <laughs> damn damn <laughs> well, it weren't nice so you had it on your bum cheeks <laughs> it's no it's on my bum cheek yeah but it's it, it goes right into the crack. Into the fucking crack. <laughs> what, I remember. You do when, that? I remember when he was yeah. doing it, and I was like, Argh. "Oh shit!" Can I ask, what, like, not in a rude way, why would you like? What made you do a tattoo on your on your butt? But basically, because I ain't got nowhere else to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I've actually got so I'm covered mm -hmm. you know, from head to toe. I'm right down, literally I'm, everything. I'm literally yeah. right down to my cock. I'm literally yeah. right up. I've got one leg and one bum cheek left. <laughs> I'm, that's definitely getting done. <laughs> definitely not getting done. Oh, it's not getting done. Oh. And everyone says to me, if, if so I'm So you're right, one clean cheek and you want one clean <laughs> leg. Yeah, yeah, so I've got one leg left, <laughs> yeah. one bum cheek left. Yeah. If ever I'm on holiday and I'm wearing shorts and someone's like, what happened? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I ran out of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the reason for that? Just leaving it. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know why. I just am. There's no reason. I just am. Why not? Yeah. Why yeah, not? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Why are you leaving that? Why not? Yeah. Why not? So have you got all your, have you got all your foot done as well? Yeah, I've got my feet done. Both underneath. My feet done. Both underneath feet. the feet as well. No. No. Ugh. You might as well. Ouch. <laughs> <Very tall. laughs> I think that's supposed to be yeah. sore underneath, and then palms are as well. Yeah. Have you got your, your palms are clean, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. Not getting them done. I've, not, I've, I've, I've hardly ever seen anyone. I've never seen it either. No. It falls, for starters, it, it's, I think it's one of the worst places you can get. Yeah. And it falls out. Oh, okay. Fair it all yeah. falls yeah, out. Yeah, you're sweating I, from there constantly. Oh, you know, yeah. You, yeah, it all falls out. 
Wow. So Ian, you know what? Obviously, talking about something more positive now, which is your acting career. Yeah. Yeah. What made you go into acting? Because I would think it was probably something where you got approached because of simply because of your image. You know what I did? So I, I used to do modelling, tattoo modelling. Yeah. And I had a manager. Yeah. And he got me into a in, he got me into a film. Yeah. Um, a very very low budget film. Right. You know, but from there, I exactly. Got into Opens other films gates in it, yeah. And other films, and yeah, it's going really well. So you're still acting at the minute. Yeah, yeah. So you're shooting anything at the moment? I'm doing one at the minute called Guilty by Association. I'm the lead male in that. Wicked. What we wow. do, what yeah. we do, so we're a SWAT, we, we, we rob drug dealers. Yeah? yeah. But we dress as a SWAT team, we dress as armed police. That's wicked. So when we come in, yeah. they think we're armed police. But really you're gangster. But really we're not, yeah. So we fucking tie them up, we tie them up with little fucking ties. Is it fun Take recording? Take their drugs off them yeah. and then go. Is it fun recording yeah, all this? It is, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we had, we had a funny one the other week. Yeah. So we was filming in Peterborough for this scene. We was on a car park. Right. On the ninth floor of a car park. Yeah. So we're all dressed up. Obviously, the director's got permission from the council and from the police. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were filming on the top floor of a car park. We've all got fucking machine guns and handguns. Sick. We're all in a SWAT gear. We've got a Range Rover there. We're doing some scenes. Anyway, all the officers above us, we could see that they was all sort of looking looking out at us. They had their, their, their cameras, cameras, they were zooming in on us. Yeah. Anyway, half hour later, the real armed police come up. Yeah, so two, two old bull oh, cups, yeah. two, two old bull vans, <laughs> yeah. right, come up, open up the window. He went, they went like, put the guns down. No I, way. We will thought they were joking. He was like, yeah, whatever. They went, put your weapons down now. Oh, shit. And they got out. And by this, at this time, I had a balaclava on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit, yeah. That doesn't look good. They didn't look good at all. Yeah. So, yeah, they, right, so we've all stepped away from the weapons. And, mate, he was like, yeah. So there's always one idiot copper, isn't there? Yeah. There was yeah. about eight of them. Seven of them were nice. Yep. There's always that one fucking idiot. That's it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, for about <laughs> 15 minutes, we was there. And we had to move away. He went, so take your balaclava off. And I think when I took that off, he was like, whoa. Yeah, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, after like 15 minutes, he was yeah. like, right. He said, we've done our checks. We know you've emailed. We know you've got yeah. permission. Someone on our end messed up. I was like, that's unlike, unlike you lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the film side, obviously, you doing all these films, how long does a film actually take and... Is it demanding? Because I know you have to wake up early and you have to be on set the no, whole day. No, 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 it ain't that bad. You know, depending on what scenes you've got and how many lines you've got. Yeah. You know, you might do a couple of days a week for a couple of a few months. You know, you're not there every day, nine till five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's good as well because you get paid every day. You're on, you know, for example, I, I've got a Hollywood movie I've just been involved in. Oh, wow. Um, and it's a £63 million pound budget. Brilliant. And I play, the, I play the lead buddy in it. Yeah? Sick. Now, we were filming in Marrakesh, Dubai, yeah. and Atlanta. And obviously, I'm on a day rate, but I get paid every day. Obviously, they pay for the flights, the of hotel, course. the food. Yep. But they will pay the day rate while I'm there. So I might be there seven days, ten days in each place. But I'll probably only be on set two days. Like exactly. That, you know? Yeah, yeah. But they yeah. pay wow. me every day. And how long ago was this? This this one's filming too in July. This one's coming up. Oh, wow. So you're yeah. going to be in Marrakesh, Dubai, and Atlanta, US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. That and must I've be got amazing. Uh, the Guilty by Association, the, the SWAT team one. Yep. That's filming in London, Peterborough, and Marbella. Wicked. So that's another holiday. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's it's hard life, ain't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. But I think that's sorry what I mean. for us. <laughs> but that's the lesson, isn't it? Where you, you started off your whole journey and all this stuff happened where, you know, you're seen as a criminal and. To, to, you know, to just turn your life around. It's just amazing to hear it. It really is, honestly. It's not Thank just, you. I'm not just saying it because yeah, you're here. Because no, yeah. a lot of people, they, you know, they always think, oh, that's all we know. You know, this is the only you know, life we know and to change becomes very hard because yeah, they're totally yeah, used to it. Yeah. When, you're in that, when you're in that rift, you know, you keep going and going. But yeah, to change is hard. You it know? is hard, yeah. 100%. Exactly, especially with, you know, like you just said, there's so many things that <clears throat> the journey you've had I'm sure there's so much, you know, for legal reasons you couldn't tell us, mm. or there's so much more that you know you can elaborate on. But I'm sure the journey itself must be so difficult for you to just, you know, take it in. That bloody hell was that me? Like from the age of 18, yeah, yeah. this life yeah, of long crime time, long and time. Yeah, yeah, literally, course, yeah. fucking, I was in and yeah. out, in and out, in and out. You know, 
But the nice thing is now is like you said, Nick, you've got your daughter to look out for. Obviously, you've got your son as well. Yeah. And you know, you're an actor now who's doing yeah, Hollywood yeah. movies. What does your daughter think of your image? Uh, I, know, I know it sounds really... She thinks I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she? I'm she must the be, yeah. coolest one at the school gates, yeah. you know. <laughs> so she says, that's my dad over there. Can you I'm telling my dad off, you go on then, you see him all come. <laughs> she's and not dating, I've told her. She's, not having, a, she's yeah, not having yeah. a boyfriend until she's 30. Just tell her everyone's your brother. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> but you know yeah. what, Ian, you know what? You coming on, thank you so much for sharing your amazing life with us, really. Really thank did you. take me back. This was probably my life favorite changing. podcast. Life-changing, yeah, it's great, it yeah. Such a, a brilliant insight of what actually goes on, you know. It was and, just real, isn't it? And it always yeah. ends in a positive, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. like that. So before we go, Ian, we'll just, uh, if you can leave a message to everyone that's probably in this life of crime, who's watching this and they want to come out, you know. Well, you know, it's never too late to... You know, to change. You know, anyone can change. If I changed, anyone can change. Mm. You know, that that's it, you know? That's brilliant. Yeah, you that know? is simple, straight to the point. Simple, straight to yeah, the point. Of course, yeah. You know, if you want to change, you can change. That's fantastic. Done. You Ian, know? thank you so I much for coming Thank you very much for coming thank down, very down much. honestly. Thank yeah. you, guys. So there you have it, guys. The, the famous, the amazing Mr. Ian Griggs. So if you liked what you saw, guys, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss none of our uploads. Thank you. Peace.